just a different feeling for you leading up to this fight now when you put, push that out? Yeah, 100%. Because, um, yeah, crush your enemies totally. If you leave any sign of life, they'll come back for revenge. They should have killed me in Brazil. But, yeah, now it's my time, and I'll crush him totally. Or maybe I'll just jab and leg kick him. We'll see. <laughs> Solid tactic. Yeah. You said that this, you know, you saw a Floyd Mayweather clip where he said, if I have to win a fight, it's this fight. And you feel the same about this one with Alex. 100%. Why is the way you feel? It, why do you feel that way? Is it because of him and your history with him? Is it because of the fan reception to you after the last one? Or is it just because of the training camp you just had, you have to win? because you Nah, didn't... it's just him. Just the fact that we have that history. I feel like if there's any fight, like every other fight was important to me. The Whitaker fight, part one. Brunson, you know, Tavares, Costa, whatever. Um, but this fight, I just feel like when I'm standing across from him each round, I just know, like, I can just see it. I, I'm, I'm getting the vibes. I can just see it. This is the one I have to win. But then when he comes in here and speaks to us at the media, he says, it's not personal, it's just another fight and, and all that sort of stuff. Do you think he's trying to play down the rivalry to lessen the pressure on himself, or why do you think he's saying that? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't really thought about that. Um, hey, man, he's got bragging rights, so he can talk all the shit he wants. Um, but, yeah, I, like I said, it's giving Costa vibes. And, um, yeah, I like it. I like that kind of that energy. Mm -hmm. Just one last one on pressure. Mm -hmm. it, traditionally, you would say, well, if the guy's lost two fights to this guy, the pressure's on him to overcome those odds. But if you watch those fights, those fights were trending in a certain direction, right, before the finish in the second one and mm -hmm. before the judges in the first one. So is the pressure really on you or is it on him because the two guys who have been in that ring know the way those fights were actually going? No, nah, I like it on me. I like it on me in this one. And then I saw last night, I was like, why am I the favorite in this on the betting odds? Um, I, I don't. I never check them, but I just happened to see something on on Instagram, and I was like, "How the fuck am I like the favorite?" I feel like we should change that or something. How can you change that? Fake an injury. Trip over so at the yeah. press conference. Ah, I don't know. We'll see. But um, yeah, I think people should bet on him on this fight. Yeah, just you know, see what happens. Okay. Uh, since Alex entered MMA, he's been asked at nauseum about you and fighting you. I wonder for you, when you heard that he was going all in, was this initially something that you really wanted or have you had to kind of build, build yourself up until he emerged in front of you again? I just wanted to see what he can do um, on the big stage. He's had a good knockout. He's had a three-round fight. Um, but, yeah, I mean, once I got in the UFC, he started getting asked about me. Um, but, yeah, I expected it. Have you been surprised by his success or did you expect it once he entered? I expected it. I mean, you look at his run. This I cleared the middleweight division, so I cleared the path for him directly to me. And it, I mean, I like big fights, big money fights. So this is one of those fights and the story behind it as well. So without me, he wouldn't be here. He, he there's no way he would have had a. He would have been exposed a long time ago, but I'll expose him this weekend.